I'm Richard Thompson, Speaker of the West Virginia House of Delegates, and I'm so honored to be able to congratulate and honor the Wayne High School Robotics Club. I'd like to extend my appreciation to Greg Miller, who goes above and beyond his teaching duties to volunteer after school and work with these young students to promote this program. I also congratulate the students who participate in this program. I know that they work very hard and I wish them success in their endeavors. Again, thank you very much. The project is um, we are one of many schools competing at a, multiple competitions and the game is FTC, First Tech, First Tech Challenge. And the goal of this year is to build a robot to shoot wiffle balls into a goal. Some of the trials and errors have been um, getting the robot to work the way we want it to. We have good ideas, but the only thing is to get them to work the way we want to. And some of the parts that we have don't quite work, so we've had to modify them to a certain extent to get them to work the way we want to. But one thing I've learned while doing this is being a better leader, um, learning to use my hands very well with different parts, um, building things. I like the process of building the robot um, and the way it works. We um, figure out how to get everything to work. And I learned um, how to use different tools and um, like I learned how to use a drill and everything around the tools and stuff. I wasn't sure how we'd be able to um, really shoot the balls. Be, um, having a gun seemed like a really hard task, but uh, as we worked on it and we figured out different ways and our engineer that helps us out had a really good idea on how to get balls to the goal, it wasn't that much of a problem. I was on the team last year, so I knew, I knew my way around everything pretty well, but um, I really learned just more of the mechanical things, like um, I guess a larger basis of the five simple machines. That was probably the biggest thing. The biggest challenge is more of like the small things, like we built a robot and we, we had our main parts, the main components, like all the different elements put together, but it was everything between. Like we have a conveyor belt on a robot and balls go up the conveyor belt into um, like a little hopper and it was a problem trying to figure out how you, get, how you would get the wiffle ball from the floor to the conveyor belt conveyor belt to the hopper and then the hopper to the gun. That was probably a, a large part. I had to, had to start from scratch on how to learn how to program and we, we started from barely getting able uh, one motor to run to getting it to run across the field on its own for some manner. Not, not quite perfect but it's, it's on its way. Just seeing the program that I worked on for a couple hours, a couple hours every week, you know, and just to see it run all, everything works smoothly. When you push a button, something actually works instead of just sitting there. You know, that's, that's a really good feeling. I'm looking forward to seeing all the other robots and seeing their ideas and how they compare to ours. I mean, our idea could be one in a million or we could have others just like it, but hopefully ours is the one that'll be better. <laughs> we received $50,000 in grant money through the SEAS program. And when I was first notified about even applying for the grant, uh, one of the things, the, part of the grant was to destroy a classroom and to do something outside of a classroom environment that was um, energetic, creative, and destructive was the words that they had used. And I, the first thing I thought about was our robo robotics program that we have. It's an after school program. And with the grant, um, we plan on, on building upon this robotics program in the essence of extending our math classes here and actually uh, having an engineering program. The engineering program will tie into Marshall University's STEM program, which will almost be a seamless curriculum once we get that taken care of. Our goal is to involve community members, businesses, and Marshall University to develop and to continue the successful program. One stage of the grant is to involve as many people coming together as we can possibly get, and that involves students, uh, Marshall University students, um, business people, um, local community people, and parents, so that um, everybody is working together toward this robotics program and enabled to make this more a more competitive program and to help the students uh, toward an engineering uh, degree. 
One small example of this is during the robotics um, session, uh, they were having trouble with the part of the robot. And we contacted uh, a local businessman through the Steel West Virginia. And not only he, but another, man, another gentleman came out. They worked with the kids hands-on in telling them how to rebuild the robot, what was wrong with it, what aspects to take from it. And that's the overall um, project. But that's what, that's what we want to build, not only today, but tomorrow and in the coming years with the grant money and with our robotics program. But the kids are fantastic with this program. The, uh, they're getting ready to go to this next competition. And our goal was to make our robotics program competitive, educational and to make it a seamless curriculum not only with Marshall University's program but any college or college that they would like to attend or even in the industry. So we're really looking forward to getting this program, um, the engineering program off the ground and extending their robotics program.